So here's something that uh, I've been thinking about. You know, we're, we're really anti-stress. We're trying to um, eliminate as much stress as possible. But, it, but it, it occurred to me, you know, we, we had this, I was doing this presentation. Oh, I don't know where I was. I've been doing all these with companies lately. And, and there was one, I was talking about this fight or flight response, right? Um, and we, we decided how long was this supposed to last? 30 to 60 seconds, maybe 15 to 30 seconds. Now, the thing that occurred to me, I was thinking about weightlifting. When you lift weights, you deliberately create a, an enormous stress on those muscles so that they'll actually tear down, correct? Right? When you're, when you're lifting weights, when you're doing curls, and you, you, you're trying to make those muscles tear down on purpose. You don't build up your muscles while you're lifting. We all know that. You build them up that night while you're sleeping because your body goes, wow, if she does this again tomorrow, I'm going to have to be bigger. And it, you grow while you're sleeping. But we like that short intensity of the weightlifting because it creates mm, that tearing down that is okay. And I thought about that in terms of stress. If you do things, and this maybe is, is in line with what you're talking about, Jen, I mean, in addition to what you're saying, when you do things that only last this long in fight or flight, that's great. You know, if you do something that is really scary or you do something that is, that pushes you or, that's why I think high intensity inter interval training and weightlifting are so very, very good for us. I mean, when you do, does everyone know what I'm talking about, high intensity interval training, where you just go for like 15 or 30 seconds or a minute, no more than that, but you go all out. So you can't even breathe nearly at the end of those 15, 30, or 45 seconds or a minute. And then you rest for a minute or two or three, depending on which version of high intensity interval training you're doing. And then, and you only do it like, you know, eight sets, right? You only do like, they, all the people who talk about this say, you shouldn't do any more than about six or eight blasts. The body doesn't need to. But when you do that, you put that incredible tension, that incredible stress on the body for that little bit of time. And the body starts to adapt. It starts to adapt. And you can do it. You, you become more able to handle that intensity each time you do it, right? Does that make, that's, that's what we know physiologically. And I thought, I wonder if that's the same with stress. I wonder if that's the same way. If we put ourselves in situations where we are intensely, like if, if you were exposed to, say, uh, and uh, the one that came to my mind when I was talking about this for, uh, I don't know which company. Uh, somebody asked me a question and I thought about this. If you were exposed to a, if I were biking, for example, and, and I came upon a snake, and it, it was right on the side of the, or I'm walking or running, and I came upon a snake, and it, you know, it did its snake thing, you know, say it's a rattlesnake. If I am exposed to that for that brief, explosion of will that make it so the next time I'll be even more able to handle both the presence of the snake and the explosion I need to get away from the snake does that make sense so that each time I do I get more okay with the presence of the snake and my ability to get away from it 
and I, I thought, I'm going to play with that idea because I think that's interesting. The, the, the problem with stress is not this. This is fine that we have this. And the body actually is designed to adapt to frequent exposure of very short stressors. But the problem is when we just stay in chronic stress and the imbalances that occur over time. That's the, the, the really the bad thing that we don't want to have. But I think we need to be unafraid of these kinds of momentary. And, and I think in exercise, we build that in automatically. I mean, I, I think of... I, I, I've been watching, you know, you watch a football game, and for how, how long does a play last? Depends on the play, but it, at the most, probably 15 seconds. Before. That would be a long play, yeah, long. right? Like six seconds? Yeah, six seconds. not very long. So for six seconds, they're all out blasting. The linemen are pounding each other, and the, the, the guys, the split ends are flying down the field, and the running backs are diving through, and then it ends. And you notice they keep being able to do that throughout a game. At some point during the game, you know, after 50, 60 minutes, yeah, they're, they're kind of worn out. But during it, it's okay because it's momentary. It's not continuous, long-term fight or flight on. You have a 30, yeah, you're in the huddle for 20 seconds. And you're resting. I mean, it, it's exactly this. Most sports are exactly this. Well, baseball's never this. <laughs> Except when you're stealing second base. Well, you know what I mean. Did you have a thought? Uh, just a question. So if one were in chronic stress, if they were to complete that stress cycle by doing something intense, do you think it would reduce the amount of chronic stress that they experience? Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I, I am absolutely convinced. That's why we do the meditation, the yoga, the exercise, the, the things that work to get you out of here so that you can establish balance again so that when the stressors come, no big deal. And then it ends. And then the stressors come. I mean, we, we choose to interpret things stressfully. And then it ends. But if we're always up here going, oh, crap, oh, crap, oh, crap, the threat thought all day long, the body doesn't ever end that imbalance. Does that make sense? And so that's when problems occur, the headaches, the, the, all the chronic conditions associated with stress. But I, I'm becoming more and more convinced a little bit of it is really actually kind of good for us. Does that make sense to you guys? Any, any other thoughts? I mean, I, I'd never really gone to this being, I mean, I, I'm not a fan of you stress. I think it's misnamed. But I think this is okay if it feels like this for us. And the athletes are perfect example.